I bet you that's Arthur over there. <laughs> ah, oh, what a beautiful night today it is. It's probably going to be a little dark here in this part of the video, only because of the fact that it's... Only because of the fact that it's nighttime here or whatever. But, uh, I figure I'd make a quick little video. Uh, I want to kind of be in response to what I was saying. You know, I was going to... Ooh, I was going to keep on dragging this on, but... I want to talk a little bit about the whole thing with uh, Chauncey Phillips and, uh, and MJ Kelly. And uh, mostly because of the reason for that, it's just, I don't know, I mean, I after getting a chance to think about it for, you know, a couple of days since the last, since the last video that I made, I wanted to kind of share kind of, you know, this is videos po mostly for Sean, but it's for anybody who's ever lost friends, like real friends, like people who you thought that you could trust, and people that, you know, never were going to leave your side, ever, you know, for any reason whatsoever. Uh, those are the type of people that I, that, uh, or, or, you know, the videos for people who can relate to that. And it's happened to me, not once, but it's happened to me twice, you know. The friend that I was talking about, or the water friend anyway, that I was talking about, uh, ditched me back around the time that when he went to the military. And it really hurt. And it it, it kind of happened like right after he got married. And it wasn't because he got married that I that our friendship ended. It was mostly because of the fact that that it just, he just, just didn't want to be friends some more. He, he just didn't want anything to do with me as a person. And didn't want anything to do, didn't really care about the years of sacrifice and everything. And, and, and the fact that I would always, you know, this, this friend never really had a whole lot of, you know, self-esteem, I guess. He had a lot of self-esteem issues, more or less, than anything else. And I would always be, you know, he, he'd get picked on and I'd be the one that would you know, always back him up and everything and, you know, he let little kids talk down to him and everything and, and you know, I was always there to kind of pick him up, you know, and uh, give him that boot, extra boost of confidence that I, that, uh, that he needed. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it just kind of, kind of sucked, you know, to find out that, that after doing all that, that this is the kind of the thanks that I got in return after, you know, he kind of forgetting his morals or his roots or, you know, how it all started for him and everything, but and and how he, you know, the, you know, the longer good time that we've been friends or whatever, the fact that we know everything, pretty much everything about each other, or everything you could possibly know about somebody, and then this is the thanks I get in return, you know, for trying to be a good friend and everything. And, and then the other friend that I had, pretty much, I don't know. I, I really don't know what that situation's all about. You know, and somebody who you know, I was really good friends with, and all of a sudden, once again, just didn't decide that he's too either too good for me, or he just doesn't want to, just doesn't want to hang out no more, or something. I thought I was too much of a of a friendship risk or something, I don't know. But, uh, anyway, I just figured I'd share that. The moral of the story, pretty much, is is that friends come and go. Ah! <laughs> that friends come and go, you know, I mean, and they do, I mean, I, I don't want to believe it, but... <laughs> yeah, same to you there. That's just my brother. He's just uh, we're gonna come out. We're gonna go over there and have a little fire. And I surprised him bring my camera over there. Last time I was there, when we had a fire. It was like oh a while ago, and like last year. And <laughs> I had my own flip camera then, but now I have a widescreen camera now. So, but anyway, so the moral of the story is that friends come and go. 
you know, and it sucks when that happens because you always figure that you can be friends with that person forever. You know, that nothing would ever tear your your friendship apart no matter what. And it's sad if it is truly the end of an era between Sean and MJ. You know, I don't think it is. I think it's just something that will eventually, the, the you know, the, the wounds of time will heal because, I don't know, it's probably just bad planning on MJ's part, more or less. And I know how, how bad Sean wanted to be his uh, best man, and kind of like how I want to be my my friend that got married's best man, because I thought that's what our friendship was, you know, based on, you know. You know, always being there for each other, more or less. But, uh, you know, I'm the type of person that this... Oh, one sec. <laughs> 